Hi everybody. So yesterday I put out Zeteticism Volume 7, which has solar filtered time-lapse footage using very primitive methods, solar film and an iPhone, deliberately using primitive equipment for reasons stated yesterday in that video that was put out. Now, so I've got people commenting on my YouTube videos saying, no, the sun doesn't change size and here's examples and here's filtered footage, which disproves and I've seen this, so this is this is what's going on. I've seen this before. People will send me videos saying this debunks the, the sun, the flat earth sun, that it's changing size and so forth, the filtered footage. Then I go and I look at the footage, I measure it, and the footage does show it changing size. I actually even posted some videos about this in the past. I'm posting another one here. So here's this person here. Somebody just put a comment on my YouTube videos, the Tetrisism Volume 7 from yesterday, and saying this person here has solar filtered footage which shows it doesn't change size. So I'm going through watching this guy's videos, and I finally found a time lapse. I've been looking for him. I had to scroll way down to find a time lapse. So the video, the YouTube channel is Wolfie6022, video from about a year and a half ago, February, 18, February 18, 2018. Another sunset with and without solar filter. So I just watched, the, I, I don't want to show too much of the video, I don't want to get a copyright strike or anything, even though this is fair use. So just let me show a little bit here. But I just went and measured the sun size of this excellent filtered footage this person has done, and the sun totally and obviously changes size exactly in the way expected. Now this person's equipment is greatly more sophisticated than mine, but the results are the same. Again, I purposely use primitive equipment so I, so my tests don't require replication by people to have to go, you know, buy, going out to buy $500 cameras or something. I use solar film, $5. Use your cell phone. So I went over that yesterday, but the point is, is here's another, here's, I just look at the th first 35 seconds of this video and you can just do screenshots and compare the different stages of the sun uh, in this filtered footage and it changes size. Here's an example. The middle one is in the middle of the, the footage and then the bottom one is at the end and it clearly changes size. I don't know what, somebody has to explain to me here what's unclear. Okay, so the, the anti-flat earth people are putting out filtered footage where when it's not time lapse, they'll just show, show clips. Then they say, oh, it doesn't change size. But when they do show time lapse, it does change size. And I do a video yesterday showing my time-lapse footage showing that it changes size, exactly as would be expected in the Flat Earth model. So somebody explain to me what I'm missing here. I'm not gonna say all the anti-Flat Earth people are lying by showing their snapshots. Uh, here's another video from the same fellow. Nikon P900 Flat Earth seeing the true sky, sorry, the true size of the sun correctly. He goes at the very end of the video and just shows snapshots saying, these are snapshots I have. I've taken as the sun is setting and it doesn't change size and you can do this too. Okay, great. Great. But the same fellow uh, a year and a half earlier has uh, filtered footage which does show it changing size. So anyway, I think you get my point. If somebody really wants to know if the sun is changing size or not, you have to go and do the measurements for yourself. That's why my video involved doing it for absolutely the lowest cost. And I may probably didn't even do that test the best way, but there's camera settings that are better to make it less fuzzy and so forth. But uh, anyway, I think you see the point that I'm saying, just sort of surprised and not understanding what's going on. And to all the, the anti-flat earthers, if the earth, if it was true that, you know, the whole, the whole conspiracy is true, the earth is a zetetic world, who, wh why is this such a big deal? Does it really matter? And I guess why I'm asking this question is because it really, it, I mean, if you watch my video from yesterday and you watch, the, for example, this guy's videos and other time-lapse footage, I put out a video that's called Five Minutes of Shrinking Sun Footage. It, it's clip after clip shows the sun doesn't change size. It shows the sun changing size as it sets. I mean, what's the big deal? Don't we want the truth? I don't understand. I get people yelling at me, calling me names, cussing me out and so forth. I'm just, all I want to know is the truth. Is it that bad? That's my only motivation. If I'm wrong, there will be information presented to show that I'm wrong and I will admit it. 
but I just haven't seen the information yet. It just really appears the further you dig, the more evidence there is for this. And I'm not talking about the information that the average flat earther is talking about. I'm talking only about my specific model. Because I think some, I want to be careful here what I'm saying, I think some flat earthers are getting a little careless, saying crazy stuff like the moon is in front of the clouds and, and ridiculous things like that, not realizing that when you take video footage, you know, cameras mess things up and things look strange and so forth. So I'm not associating myself with the average flat earther's information, okay, where they're talking about how things don't go down on the horizon and so forth. Clearly things go down on the horizon. Okay, the Chicago skyline picture, you look at it, and the buildings are lowered. Yeah, sure, we shouldn't see it. It's supposed to be too far away to see behind. But it, nevertheless, the buildings are lowered. You only see them halfway up. So, what do you do about that? That's the whole point of Zeteticism Volume 1. I was trying to explain why we see things lowering in the distance, like ships and lighthouses and the Sears Tower from from Benton Harbor, Michigan, and so forth. And the, the reason you see things lowering, I said in that video, is the same reason we see the sun lowering. That's why it sets. It goes behind the horizon. It's because of a specific way light travels through changing air densities. And the heliocentric model holds a lot of the same views. It's just they miss one point. So anyway, I discussed all that. I think you get my point. I'm getting off track. I'm just genuinely confused of why anybody really cares about a certain agenda. Let's just go for the truth. And this guy's anti-flat earth video right here shows the shrinking sun. So thank you, Wolf Wolfie6020 for posting this amazing footage, which, which shows the sh sun decreasing in size at sunset very clearly.